Welcome to a real life nightmare Hello folks, after delaying it for a few weeks, Samsung finally released their first One UI 6.0 beta update to the Galaxy S23 today. The update is currently available to beta testers in Germany, South Korea and the US. With the One UI 6.0 update, Samsung has introduced a multitude of new features along with improved UI design. Samsung's One UI 6 software has a modern use serif font. The company has slightly improved the design of notifications. The quick set Toggles area has been reorganized to bring them in line with Google stock Android design that debuted with Android 13. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi have bigger toggles on the top, while the others remain similar to One UI 5. All quick setting toggles are now arranged in specific sections. For example, display-related toggles like dark mode and eye comfort are grouped with a screen brightness slider. At the bottom, One UI 6 displays smart home-related quick setting toggles, including device controls and smart view. Access in the full quick panel Panel is a no-brainer with the One UI 6. You get instant access to the full drop-down menu and all of its settings with a simple single gesture. Just swipe downward at the upper right corner of the screen. For this new gesture feature to be taken advantage of, you have to turn on the quick panel instant access setting. When you turn on airplane mode and then enable Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, One UI 6.0 remembers your preferences. When you activate the airplane mode the next time, it won't disable Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, depending on your actions from the last time. Across the software, Samsung has changed the design of sliders and toggles. The lock screen now offers the ability to adjust the placement of the clock widget. The clock widget also has more styling options, including newer and more stylish fonts. The media player widget is now a lot more modern, featuring a progress bar that has sound waveform effects. However, the visual effects on the progress bar are only visible when the media player widget is expanded. Samsung has also introduced non-linear animations with One UI 6.0. Animations and transitions now appear more pleasing, but more needs to be done to improve their smoothness. They appear slightly chunky in the first One UI 6.0 beta update. The settings app has received a slight revamp, and the device care section has made way for the battery section. The battery section shows a detailed battery power consumption graph. The last time the device was charged, battery related information, power saving options, background battery usage limits for apps, deep sleeping apps, fast charging settings, and performance profiles. You also get an intelligent changing lock screen based on the specific modes and routines of your everyday life. For example, when the time comes for sleep mode to be enabled, a calming photo of a forest can pop up on your lock screen and get you in a more relaxed state of mind. The camera app has also received a newer design with the One UI 6.0 update. Image and video settings, including resolution and filters, are now easier to spot and change. Camera app also offers better scanning of documents and text, automatically cropping images of scanned documents. The app now offers three image quality and capture speed options, maximum, medium and minimum. Maximum uses longer shutter speed and processing times for the best image quality and lowest noise, while medium uses a balance between quality and speed. The minimum option offers the fastest capture times at the risk of lower quality and higher noise. And Samsung has added more alignment and placement options for watermarks. One UI 6.0 also adds a new widget for the camera app, and it lets users pre-select a camera mode and a storage location, like select in portrait mode and set in a folder just for headshots. After you've configured which camera should be used and in which mode, you can place the widget on the home screen. The built-in gallery app has a new enhanced story view that shows stories that have been automatically created by the device. The new version of the app also offers basic editing options for images and videos in the file detail view. Moreover, you can now use two hands to select multiple files from the gallery app, drag them and drop them into other apps. You can select images and videos with one hand and then use the other hand to navigate to the other app and then use the first hand to drop selected files. This makes multitasking much easier. Samsung has also refreshed all the emojis in One UI with the One UI 6.0 update. The new UI emojis now look more pleasing to look at compared to the previous versions. The earlier versions of emojis that the company used looked old and jarring. These emojis appear heavily inspired by 3D emojis that Microsoft debuted with Windows 11. One UI 6.0 also brings a redesigned 
another app that shows more information, including moon phases, sunrise and sunset times, with a depiction and additional data. And there are also new widgets for the weather app. The phone app hasn't received many improvements and the contacts, keypad and recent call sections appear largely similar to One UI 5.0. But Samsung has updated the Reminders app on One UI 6.0. The Reminders and Tasks can be sorted into more categories, and below the categories, listed reminders are sorted by date and time. Reminders that have images and links have received an improved layout. There is a new category called Place for the Reminders that are activated when you reach a particular place. Guys, of course, this is not all One UI 6 new features, but perhaps the most remarkable. We will be sure to keep you posted on the changes, some features will be added and some will be removed. Also, follow the updates on our channel to find out if your phone will receive One UI 6. Thanks for watching this video, please share it with your friends, especially who own Samsung. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.